This is a locally made local PLC from Tasmat Limited. There are various functions for each specific key. In this case, A acts as the enter key, confirm or OK key. B functions as the backspace key. C is the cancel, exit or delete button. D is for scrolling up and down from option one to the last function. This is how you operate it. Upon connecting the machine to power, you switch on the PLC by using the on and off switch button. The screen displays a welcome command of Tasmat agencies, then displays the standby display that indicates the current cent unit price. Here, one is required to key in the amount in Kenya shillings, after which one presses the D key, followed by star to commence dispensing. Once complete, the display goes back to the standby mode. To go to the main menu for the various settings the PLC has, you press the A key. In this case, you press option number one. You will be required to key in an administration password, which we have set at 1234, but please note it is changeable by you, the operator of the machine. So when you press number one, you key in the password and then press A to confirm or enter that password and unlock the various settings. For example, option number one under administration is for setting price or changing the unit price. Option two is calibration. Option three is viewing and clearing of your sales. Option four is for setting or changing your password. Option number five is for changing or setting your cleaning password. Option number six is for changing contrast. Let us go back to option number one, which is changing the unit price. Therefore, I'll press one. Then I will be required to set my new price. Currently, the machine is running at 90 uh, Kenya shillings per liter of milk or whatever fluid you are you are dispensing So let's say I want to change that unit price to a hundred Therefore in this case, I'll just key in a hundred and press a to confirm change of that Setting the unit price has changed it is key or it is recommended every time you change the unit price of your product to calibrate the ATM Therefore, I will go back by pressing C go back and scroll down by using the letter D to go to option two, which is the calibration function. After displaying calibration function number two, I will key in number two, and then I will be required to key in the liters per minute that the machine is dispensing. To verify that, I will be required to check the value indicated on the pump when you open the door of the machine. It is indicated at 3.8 liters per minute. Therefore, I will come back to this PLC and key in 3.8. Kindly note that the star key functions as a, a decimal point. You can use it to key in your decimal point. If the dispensed volume does not correspond to the keyed in quantities, you go back to the calibration function and increase the value you had input. We had put 3.8, therefore you can put 3.9 or 4.0 and keep going back to check if the values correspond or match. The other function is viewing and clearing of your sales. Therefore, you scroll down by pressing letter D up to the third option, which is viewing of sales. You key in number three. It indicates the total sales made in liters as well as the total amount of money that the liters correspond to. To clear the sales and set it back to zero, you press number five. The other option is setting the administration password. Therefore, you scroll down by still pressing the letter D to option number four for setting password. You key in number four. Then you are required to key in your new password. The current password was one, two, three, four. Let's say you change it to four, three, two, one. Therefore, you'll key in four, three, two, one and then press letter A to confirm or change that password. The next function is setting the cleaning password. You will press letter D key, scroll down to option number five and key in your new password. The default password is usually 0, 0, 0, 4 zeros, but in this case, you'll just key in your new password and then press A to confirm that change of setting. To go back to the other operations, you'll press the C key, which is the cancel, exit, or back button, and then use D to scroll down to the other operation. Remember, operation number one was main menu, and then in this case, scroll down by pressing D to go to the other operation, which is cleaning. Then after cleaning, you'll press number two. 
you'll be required to key in your cleaning password which remember we set at either the default is 000 or 1111 depending on the password you had keyed in as you can see it clearly indicates for you to start the cleaning process you press number five and to stop that process you press c the third operation is the device id or basically the serial number of the machine that one remains constant it does not need change